Meanwhile, Kurt's on the line from Calabasas, California. Hi, Kurt. What can I do for you? Well, I have a MacBook Pro, Retina 13, which is a late 2013 model. I mm -hmm. guess Kim has the same model. Mm -hmm. Nice, not uh, very nice laptop. 2.4 gigahertz i5 running Mavericks. So two, two questions. One is, first of all, the RAM memory usage has increased over time. I do use the computer a lot more. Um, but it seems to be worse uh, when running certain websites, um, probably, you know, tied to Firefox. But How much RAM is on that thing? How much RAM is on it? Uh, eight, eight gigabytes. Yeah, that should be enough. So, I, you know, people sometimes pay too much attention to things like this. Like, you're obviously watching some sort of uh, resource monitor saying, well, how much RAM is being used? And a good operating system, a well-designed operating system, will use all the RAM. And then release it when it's needed by other processes. You know, why would you want two gigs of RAM just sitting there not doing anything? You've got it. Use it. So I wouldn't worry too much about how much RAM is being used. On the other hand, if you notice you're loading a photo or an application and things get really sluggish, that's when you start to worry. And, and that sort of has been the case. Oh, okay. Using the Internet, um, I would see, oh, gosh, we're down to like 10, 10 megabytes. And then... But that's uh, what's... You, you're talking about RAM, not storage, right? Not not disk storage, but actual physical memory. That's correct. Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, you, it's you know, a well-designed operating system has, uh, and and OS 10 is a very well-designed operating system, has a memory manager that's independent of the applications as part of the operating system, and it kind of acts as a train conductor, making sure. But you want to use all the resources you have, programs. Running out of RAM, obviously, run much faster than if they're running off disk. But the way it's handled in a modern operating system is programs will allocate memory. And at some point, if the memory manager, the conductor, sees other programs needing memory, or worse, instead of using RAM, starting to use disk storage in the same way, which really slows things down, they'll say, look, you 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 you're, you got to use less memory. Chrome, for instance, will. Which you, are you using Chrome instead of Safari? Uh, no, it would be Firefox for the most oh, part. Oh, Firefox is notorious for being a RAM hog. Yes. So using Safari might help in that situation, but I don't see a problem with Firefox using RAM unless it doesn't release it when another program needs it. And the symptom of that is not the meter that shows how much RAM's available, but your machine slowing down. And the reason it slows down is because that other program that needs memory can't get it back from Firefox and then has to start using swap space, disk space instead of RAM. And, of course, disk is much slower than RAM. Yes. So it does that instead of crashing. I mean, the option, the other, I can't get RAM, I'm going to crash. You don't want it to do that. So it uses disk, disk space. But you will tell because your machine will feel very sluggish. Firefox used to be terrible for RAM usage. Mm. They've improved. I presume you're using the latest Firefox, right? I believe so. Yeah. Uh, it was my impression. I actually prefer to use Chrome or, uh, or, or Safari on the Mac, but it was my impression that Firefox had, had fixed its bad ways and was being much less RAM, uh, uh, you know, hoggy. But, okay. um, but maybe it is still piggy, and if it is... Um, Switch to a different a different uh, uh, browser. That's an option. Yeah, now, there's no nothing that Firefox does really that you can't do on other browsers, right? Is there anything that you have to have Firefox for? No, I don't believe so. Yeah. Um. The the second question. Also, I by the way, and Emily the Strange is saying this in her chat room, which is absolutely true. If you've got extensions running, you might want to check those. Sometimes they can be uh, the hogs, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, I would say for for for. The best browser on Macintosh for battery and RAM usage, for resource usage, is, is Apple's own Safari. It's really tuned for Mac OS. All right. That's good to know. Um, the, the second question has to do with upgrading this machine to Sierra. Um, I, I've talked to many people at Apple. Most of them say, hey, if it works, don't do it. But, for example, I can't upgrade... Uh, Microsoft anymore because it wants to use yeah. the latest operating. So here's, I mean, Apple will only let you go as far as they think is appropriate. So don't force it, but if it will upgrade, if it offers that upgrade and you can do it, then do it. Is it such, though, that as years have gone past, say, like Windows systems, as they introduced new operating systems, they used more and more of the machine and it kind of required... No, that's true, but they won't let you upgrade if your machine is not capable. Right, but so, it still should run just as fast? Yeah, sometimes faster. Huh. 
Huh. Because they sometimes improve things as well. You know what would really speed up your machine? What if you're if you're experiencing sluggishness, and that is a that is not an old machine in the right. scheme of things. Uh, that is a fast machine. It could be the hard drive itself. Now it's an SSD, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right. So um, it's less likely a problem, but sometimes hard drives, if they get flaky, what happens is you're trying to read a file, and instead of reading it right away, it says, nope, and it tries two or three times. If that happens enough, your whole system feels really slow, mm. and that's not unusual. And spinning hard drives is more common than an SSDs. SSDs, either the cell works or it doesn't work generally. So uh, you, you don't see these kinds of slowdowns so much with SSDs. But just in case, if you do decide to upgrade... Do a clean install. Wipe the disk. Back up your data. Get your install disks together. Wipe the disk and reinstall everything. Almost always that speeds things up, even on a Macintosh. Is there a way to make a full backup of what I have in case I want to yes. go back to it? Like Every a Mac user should have a program called Super Duper. It will make on an external drive a identical, bootable backup of your system. In fact, I keep that running all the time. Always a good thing to have.